All right, so it's been a couple of days. Um, today's uh, December 21st, and uh, I still haven't done December 19th yet. So <laughs> we're, we're falling behind, but um, depending on how these things go, I, I've heard that these aren't too, too bad to do. So we'll see. All right, let's start with Advent of Code 2022, day 19. Day 19 is called Not Enough Minerals. Your scans show that the lava did indeed form obsidian. The wind has changed direction enough to stop sending lava droplets toward you, so you and the elephants exit the cave. As you do, you notice a collection of geodes around the pond. Perhaps you could use the obsidian to create some geode-cracking robots and break them open? Why would you want to do that? Um, but apparently we do. To collect, to collect the obsidian from the bottom of the pond, You'll need waterproof obsidian collecting robots. Fortunately, there is an abundant amount of clay nearby that you can use to make them waterproof. In order to harvest the clay, you'll need some special purpose clay collecting robots. To make any type of robot, you'll need ore, which is also plentiful, but in the opposite direction from the clay. All right. Collecting ore requires ore collecting robots with big drills. Fortunately, you have exactly one ore collecting robot in your pack that you can use to kickstart the whole operation. Each robot can collect one of its resource type per minute. Okay. So if I understand that correctly, it means every robot we have of a particular type gets us one particular resource per minute. Good morning, hello. Good morning. Thanks for joining. Um, it also takes one minute for the robot factory, also conveniently from your pack to construct any type of robot. Okay, so every minute, every robot collects one resource of its resource type, and every minute you make a robot, although it consumes the necessary resources available when construction begins. So to make a robot requires resources, that makes sense, and you can make one robot per minute. Robot Factory has many blueprints, your puzzle input. You can choose from, oh, Robot Factory has many blueprints that you can choose from, but once you've configured it with a blueprint, you can't change it. What does that mean? You'll need to work out which blueprint is best. Oh, I see. So we just try them all and see which one has, and how do you determine which one's best? Um, I guess that would be the, let me just scan to the bottom here. What do we care about? Determine the quality level of each blueprint using the largest number of geodes it can produce in 24 minutes. Add up the quality levels. Here it is. Determine the quality level of each blueprint by multiplying that blueprint's ID number with the largest number of geodes that can be opened in 24 minutes using that blueprint. Okay. So the idea is we need to create enough geode cracking robots. Uh, but we have to follow the blueprint in order to build geode cracking robots. And the only way we can build geode cracking robots is by starting with one, it says what, fortunately you have one, you have exactly one ore collecting robot. Okay. So is this just another uh, breadth first search kind of day? Um, so the first minute we collect one ore, second minute we collect one ore, we spend two ore to collect we have to build a Craig, uh, so we can't build anything yet. Using blueprint run in the example above. Okay, so it takes four ore to build an ore robot, but only two ore to build a clay robot. So if we wanted to build a second ore robot, we would have to actually wait four, even though we could build a clay robot. So we can't just build whatever. We have to build, we have to try, try all the states, I guess. We spend two ore to build a clay collecting robot. And then you get another ore, you get another clay. Now you have two ore. Oh, this is not a clay. So, okay, so when you build a robot, you don't get any resources right away. You have to wait for the next minute. Okay, understood. You have two ore and one clay because now you have a robot, uh, an, a clay robot. Spend two ore to start building a clay collecting robot. So. So this, this example is, is building a couple of clays right off the bat. Three clays right off the bat. And you only ever have one ore. Spend three ore and 14 clay to, 
to build an obsidian collecting robot. Okay, so yeah, let's look at these blueprints. Each ore robot costs four ore. Each clay robot costs two ore. Obsidian takes two ore and 14 clay. And the geode costs two ore and seven obsidian. And you're trying to maximize your geode robot count, right? Because we're trying to get, what was that? The quality level is the blueprint ID which is the largest number of geodes that can be opened in 24 minutes using that blueprint. Okay. All right. I think I understand. Do all of the... Well, let's get our input. This is day 19. It looks like they all have the same format. So it's not like some blueprints, obsidian robots cost three ore and... I mean, like a geode robot is always two ore plus obsidian, right? That's what I'm seeing here or plus obsidian. So we can just parse out these little individual numbers once we figure out where they are. All right, and it looks like the test input is different. That's annoying. Well, we can just edit it. Uh, get rid of that, put that here. So it's just, everything's on one line. All right, that way there, we have the, the format the same. Why is this different though? Blueprints have been line wrapped for your legibility. Okay. Although, you know, this wouldn't have been too bad to parse. I don't know why we couldn't just do it that way, but fine. Um, let's start with creating our module. Uh, we'll do day 19. with nine and month day 19 all right I think I did that all correctly let's create the file let's fill in the template and now let's run our bacon over here whoops because I did mud instead of um, mud Okay, good. All right, so the first thing, uh, let's go back to here. Uh, we need to parse out the, the input. So let input equals AOC lib read lines test input dot text. And then let's just print those out for now so I can see them. we're going to split on the words right and then derive a blueprint from each one um, wrap there we go so here's the blueprint ID which we need because we have to multiply that by the number of geodes we collect for that blueprint all right so um, somewhere in here we have the <laughs> okay let's create a blueprint struct And a blueprint will basically tell us how to build everything. So, or robot, let's just say bot, um, costs a certain amount of ore. A clay bot costs a certain amount of ore. Obsidian bot costs, oh, how are we going to do this? Um, I guess we could just make a tuple. That would be the easiest, and then a geode bot is also a tuple and we can just parse that out for a line in input um, <laughs> we're going to make this a blueprints a vec of blueprint right and then we just say self blueprints push blueprint and we'll have an or bot oh let's split this into words Line dot split white space. Oh, we need the uh, ID, right? Uh, there we go. And that is a split white space uh, collect vec like that. Okay. 
Um, the ID is going to be, oh, um, words of one. Um, trim, is there, I think there's a trim left, right? Let me look over here real quick. Boom. Rust string trim left. Or trim right, actually. We want to trim right. Or strip right or something like that. I'm not seeing trim. Let's try strip. Let's take a look in here. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. There is a split. Oh, strip suffix. Okay, that's what we want. All right, so strip suffix of colon unwrap because it returns an option. Um, and then we want to parse as u size. Oh, it's already u size, so we don't have to do that. Unwrap. Hopefully that'll work. We'll find out. All right, so that was uh, word one, two, three, four, five, six. So word six, parse unwrap. Uh, Claybot, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Obsidian bot, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's 18, 19, 20, and 21. 18 and 21. And then we have a geode bot. So that's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, so 27, 28, 29, and 30. 27 and 30, okay. And that gets pushed on as a blueprint. And then we do that and we'll just say print lin um, debug out self blueprints. All right, let's see if that works. Oops. Take value of a method. Oh, I forgot the um. These guys. All right, two warnings. What do we got? Hello. Here we go. All right. So blueprint ID. We got the ore bot, the clay bot, the obsidian bot three fourteen, geobot two seven, two two three three eight, and three twelve. So hopefully those are the correct numbers. 3, 8, and 3, 12. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's a 2 and 3. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 2 and 3. All right, good. All right, so now we just need to calculate for each blueprint what the best... Um, no, we need not the best. Yes, each one needs to calculate individually the best, but then we multiply the best by the ID number. All right, so that's part one. Part one is uh, let mut quality equals zero and we'll just return quality so for blueprint in self blueprints let best is equal to mine geodes of a blueprint Right, and then there should be a reference to a blueprint. Yep, it is good. Um, and then I'll just I'm just gonna print these out individually. Um, blueprint ID this gets m makes this many geodes, and we'll just say BP ID D and then best. Actually, we can just put the best in there. I'm gonna take out this print. After we're done, I just want to see them as they're making them because I've got a feeling this is going to be very slow. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. And then we just need to increase the quality. Quality plus equals um, BP ID times best. Oops. There. All right. So now we just have to mine some geodes. Mine geodes. Uh, BP is a blueprint and will return um, a U size since everything else is U size. 
Um, okay, so now what we need to do is figure out what our state is, right? Because this, I'm, I'm thinking uh, breadth first search, so, or depth first search, or whichever. I don't care which. Uh, we're just doing an exhaustive search. And in order to do that, we need to come up with what our state is going to be. Um, right, so we need like a scene. Hash set, new. And we need a, um, a work queue. Which is just just be a vec. Um, and then we'll say to visit. And we'll push our starting state, which is going to be... What's our starting state? You do get one ore collecting robot, and you have one factory, but I think you only ever have one factory. I don't, there's no other, there's no factory making robots here. So we can ignore the factory and just say that we can only make one robot per turn. Um, we can also do nothing, right? We can just hang out and wait if there's nothing to do. Um, so the state, I think, is going to be how many ore robots we have, how many clay robots, yeah, so how many of each type of robot we have, plus how much of each type of resource we have, plus how many minutes are left. Oh, that's a big state. Um, let's let's create that actually. Derive debug uh, struct state is going to be or bots clay bots obsidian bots um, geode bots and then we're also going to have how much ore we have how much clay we have wow obsidian and geodes, right? What am I missing? I'm missing the time remaining. That's what I'm missing. Okay, so that's a that's a huge state space, isn't it? Um, we're probably gonna have to figure out how to trim that down. But for now, let's create a state. Let's actually derive default, so I can just create a new state with default. Um, we get one ore bot. We get how much time? 24 minutes, says right there. And then we'll just say default, default, like that. Right? Let's see if I got that all correct. Um, hash set not found the scope. Uh, boom. And expected use size found unit. Yeah, we can fix that. I'm just going to say we've found zero. Okay. Oh, and we don't know. Uh, let me comment that out for now. I just want to make sure the state stuff is working. Okay. So, while let sum state is equal to visit dot pop. What can we do every turn? We can do nothing, in which case we're going to create however much ore we need to create and lose one minute of time. We can try to create any one of the robots. Um, that's it. That's all we can do. Either nothing or create a single robot. Um, yeah, there's no way to, like, to destroy robots or anything like that. So it's just, okay, so this seems like fairly straightforward. Let me write a tick function, impulse state. This will do, this will generate one tick of time. Um, what I'll do is derive clone. All right, so I can just say let mut cell, um, new state is equal to self clone. And now we could just update how much ore, clay, obsidian, and geodes we have, and then subtract one from time remaining. So we say new state dot or plus equals self or bots. 
And we can do that for clay, obsidian, and geodes, right? Um, I'll just do it this way. Uh, clay, clay, obsidian, uh, geode. Geodes is the one that's different. And then new state dot time remaining minus equals one. We tick down by one and then return new state. Okay, so that's a tick, right? So we can do that. We can say if, oh, right, we're looking for how many geodes we can create. So let mutt best equals zero. If time state dot time remaining, if we hit our end condition, then we're going to say best is equal to best dot state of, no, best of max state dot geodes. Continue. Yeah, this is our end condition. We're trying to find, we're trying to maximize our geode count, and then we can just return best. And that's going to be that for that blueprint. Lonmo, I'm sorry, I missed your question. Will you always have all of the ores all of the time? Well, you start off with one ore collecting robot. Right, so you can only have one ore per time unless you build a second ore collecting robot. So, which is what I'm about to do. To Katak Biru asks, what you making? I am working on Advent of Code Day 19. You can see that right up here. Boom. Um, trying to solve this particular puzzle. All right, so if, if we can create an ore robot, Right, we'll just go through these bots one at a time. If state.or is greater than or equal to the blueprints uh, or bot cost, then we can create um, an or bot. Oh, first, right. First, I need to do handle the, um, the do nothing state. So this would be to visit uh, push state tick. If state or is greater than BP or bot, then I guess what we can do is say to visit dot push state dot make or bot with the current blueprint, right? And we can do that for all the other bots. And so let me do that. Because I think each one's different, right? Because we're going to say make or bot self returns to self. Let mut new state is equal to self tick right and then we have to oop, we have to pass in the blueprint and we want to subtract off new state dot or minus equals the blueprint or bot and then return new state oh lonmo is suggesting enu material with ore and clay as separate enums Okay, um, I'm, oh, the only reason I'm pausing is because I'm not sure how that will solve the problem faster than what I'm doing. <laughs> Katakburu says, I have no idea what's going on. All I'm doing is trying to solve um, Advent of Code Day 19. If you go to adventofcode.com, uh, you'll see a whole bunch of puzzles there uh, for, from years starting at 2015 all the way through present year. Um, and I've solved the first 18 problems, and now I'm on the 19th problem, and I'm trying to make ore robots. I mean, I'm trying to make uh, bots collect geodes. All right, this is the ore bot, so this should build, right? Oh, I don't want to run. I don't want to run because this this will run forever. Um, let's check out that hash set. I don't think I don't think we're gonna need the hash set. We don't need to check scene states because the time remaining ticks down every single tick. So we might not even need that. And this is not obsidian. Oops. It's obsidian. There. Okay. 
Richard Keep says, is there a reward for the best guys on the leaderboard? The reward is knowing you are one of the best guys on the leaderboard. <laughs> That's all you get. There is no other reward. There's no physical reward. There's no monetary reward. All right, let's fix this. Um, and now we're not using hash set. And we're not using these guys, right? Okay. Um, I, the reason I don't want to run... I guess we could just do check so it's not so red. Uh, I don't want to run it yet be, is because I think this is going to be a very slow thing that I'm going to want to run from the command line. If state.clay is greater than or equal to BP clay bot, then we can build a clay bot, right? And that's essentially this. Um, clay bot. Um, but it's going to cost clay bot four. Okay, we're getting closer. Um, Richard Keep says, so, so, so those anonymous guys don't want to be recognized and appreciated. Pretty much, pretty much. Or they don't like people stalking them or whatever. Um, let's go to if state, let's say or is greater than or equal to BP. I've forgotten what the blueprint looks like now. Here it is. Uh, obsidian bot dot zero and state clay is greater than or equal to BP obsidian bot dot one. And we can do this. And then we need, we can do one more. We'll do the last one here like this. Um, and now we'll make a geode bot. Uh, except the geode bot takes obsidian, right? Yeah, so the obsidian bot takes ore and clay, so that's what we have to check here, and then geode bot takes ore and obsidian, okay. And this is a geode bot. Like that. And down here, we'll just make these. Okay. Obsidian. And geode. Um, except now or removes uh, obsidian bot dot zero and clay of one. And this is or of geode bot zero and obsidian geode bot one. All right. That should build. Oh, look at that. No warnings now. All right. And then that's, I think that's everything. Um, the question is, how slow is it going to go? So we have the test input. Let's do a cargo run. But with, with the test input, it usually goes a lot faster than the, the real input. Um, and of course, I did something wrong. So we're not actually doing any work. <laughs> that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Lonmo says, run it and release. Yeah. Um, Lonmo asks, are the blueprints always the same materials? Um, yeah, that I looked at that up up at the beginning of the uh, the stream, and um, every bot has the same ingredients, just at different amounts. I'll code monk and say, yeah, they always use the same resource. All right, so where did I go wrong? with this we're basically finding nothing so we can just we can just take a look at what's going on here and just print out state print lin state that's why i made it debuggable and then we'll see see what our, where i failed last oh yeah okay there we go so the amount of ore goes up by one, and the amount of time goes down.
Um, and this is just us creating orb. Oh, wait, the orb bots are not. Are we doing? Oh, that's right. We're just doing nothing. The first state is do nothing. Maybe I should make that the last state. Um, do nothing. Because we see all these, these ore going up. Okay, so here's time remaining zero. And it found nothing. And now we pop back to seven. Why? With one remaining. Do we ever create bots? Did I, did I fail to, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this tick here should be creating ore, right? And then the ore should be creating bots. I, so we should be seeing something. It's just that the state isn't moving here. And I know it's hard to read, but this is what I'm looking at here. The, Bots are always one zero 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 zero. So and I'm adding for every tick, I'm adding the ore, clay, obsidian, and geodes. So we know that those are working. We see the time moving, we see the amount of ore going up and down um, based on where we are in the state machine. Let's get rid of this state. And just see if we can um, if we can make new ore bots. Alonmo says, "Why do you return a new state uh, over modifying the state using a mute?" Well, because I I don't want to change the current state as I'm going through here. I want to have a new state each time. Um, and Code Monk says, of the functions of adding robots to the state? They are here. So to visit is our current search. And we are creating ore bots, but... So we should see ore bots value change over time. And we don't. Am I not, am I not incrementing the number of ore bots? Oh. I'm not actually making the bots. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. New state or bots plus equals one. New state clay bots plus equals one. I was spending the clay and I was spending the ore and I was spending everything but never creating anything. New state obsidian bots plus equals one. And new state geode bots plus equals one. That was a pretty silly mistake to make. Okay, let's get rid of this print statement. Cargo run. And it still makes nothing. Oh, I thought that would be the answer. All right. Let's take a look at the state again. Lonmo says, how do you get clay with only or only ore bots? Um, that's a good question. So the way it works is a clay bot only takes ore to build. Um, I can't pronounce your name, Lee. Um, pum, 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 pum. Right, so let's run, let's, let's do the state thing here and then let's run this. Oh, I should have done it in less. Okay, so now it's making ore bots. That's the first thing it's making is ore bots. Um, do we ever make, so that's going up. Um, is it ever making clay bots? It's never making clay bots. Okay, so our state clay. Oh, don't break a finger, burn. Code monk says talking of bots. Yeah. Oh, lawnmower, you saw it. You saw it before I did, didn't you? Lawnmower says you check clay, but costs against the amount of clay. Right. It's it's how much do we have enough ore to build a clay bot? Okay. All right, now we're building clay bots. Okay, let's get rid of this print statement. Hopefully that's the last 
bug, right? Because this says ore versus zero, this says ore versus zero, and this is clay and obsidian. Okay. What a dumb bug. Yeah. So we're going to have to come up with a way to speed things up. What can we do? What can we do? Let's take a look at what state we have. <laughs> you start off with one ore collecting robot. Lomo says run it release mode. Okay, we'll do that while I'm thinking about what we can do to reduce. Basically, I think the, the, um, the puzzle here is how can we figure out to, how we can reduce our state space, our search space, so that we can come up with an answer faster. Um, and I think, I think one thing we can do, if you look, you, we can only build one robot at a time, right? So for blueprint run, we can only ever spend four ore per turn. So if we have more than four ore robots, we're making more ore than we need. Lonmo says, I'm afraid the current code will spend all ore before reaching one of the later bots it could buy. Ah, yeah, so let me explain how that works. <laughs> so I'm using the same state each time, right? So the state has amount of ore, like 12 or whatever. Um, if state ore is more than it takes to build an ore robot, we'll create a brand new state with that amount of ore taken out. But we don't change our current state. So when we check here, it'll still be 12. So we can still do, we can do any one of these steps. Yeah, even in release mode, this is brutally slow, isn't it? But what I'm thinking is that we can only ever spend whatever the max of these four values are of ore per turn. And in terms of clay, it's the max of these two, right? Oh, it found one. Blueprint ID one makes nine geodes. Was that in the example? I didn't even look at the examples. Oh yeah, using blueprint one in the example above, Largest number of geodes you can make open in 24 minutes is nine. So it's right. I mean, the code's simple enough, but I, I as you saw, I made two really dumb mistakes. Uh, however, by using Blueprint 2 in the example above, you could do even better. Largest number of geodes is 12. So the quality level is multiplying those things. Okay, so hopefully that added nine to the quality level, and the next one will add 12 times two, which is 24, and we should get 33. Let's find out. I'll let that keep keep running. But I think I think I'm onto something. I think I'm onto something, right? Every or every turn you can only spend you can only do one robot. So if you only do one robot per turn, you don't need more ore than the maximum number of ore any robot needs. So once you build that many ore robots, you can stop building ore robots. So let's do this up at the top here because as soon as you come in, it doesn't change. The blueprint doesn't change when you're going through this. So we can say max or is equal to bp or bot dot max bp dot clay bot dot max bp dot obsidian bot dot zero dot max <laughs> um, bp dot geode bot dot zero. Right? And then we have max clay that is equal to bp of Oh, there's only one bot that takes clay. Well, okay, I'll, just to be consistent, obsidian bot dot one and max obsidian is equal to bp dot geode bot dot one. And there's no max on how much geodes we want. Actually, we're trying to maximize that. We're trying to get as many as we possibly can. So. I think what I want to do now is say, if we come here and say if uh, state dot or bots is less than max or and and here we say if state dot clay bots is less than max clay and and then the state obsidian bots is less than max obsidian and all right i'm going to kill this because this is still running <laughs> all right let's save that that should work that should build die 
let's run this in release mode. And see if that's sufficient to speed things up. It's not that much faster. It's not that much faster. What else can we do? Hmm. I wonder, so every, as soon as we have two, for this one, as soon as we have two ore bots and seven obsidian bots, is there any reason to make any of the other bots? Can we just not even look at those search space entries? Can we just say, okay, we got two ore and seven obsidian per turn. Let's just make geobots from here on out and forget about the other bots. There's no reason to even look down those branches of the state space. That might, that might help. Ooh, we got an answer. Is it 33? It's 33. Okay, so our code's right. Uh, but let me try this as a as a uh, a speed up possibility. So before we do anything, and then we'll just say continue. Don't even look at the other options. Just we make geode bots from here on out. Now that we can make geode bots, let's make them, and don't ever stop. Um, cause this, it, yeah, it took almost a minute for two blueprints and how, do, how many blueprints do we have in ours? 30, there's 30 blueprints. Um, so that will take, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to wait here 15 minutes while it runs through all these things. Um, okay. So did I save that? All right. Let's see if that, if that helps, that should help a little bit, hopefully. Lanmo says, but you could potentially arrive at more ores faster if you could make more ore clay obsidian bots than to be able to buy geode bots faster. Well, the thing is you can only buy, build one bot per turn. So if you can only build one bot per turn, there's no sense in having more ore than you actually need. Then, then sorry, than the maximum ore. So even if you build more ore bot. Okay, so that's sped it up. I cut it about half. I wonder, can we do the same thing with the obsidian bot? Because once we can create obsidian bots, we should keep creating obsidian bots until we max those out too. Let me try that. And see if that speeds anything up here. Code Monk says you can do the same with obsidian. Yeah, okay, so we thought of the same thing at the same time there. <clears throat> So I wonder what else, what else can we do? Oh, okay. That, that may have made it sufficiently fast, right? We just went, so the first one cut it in half, right? The second one just blasted the hell out of it. So, okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think this should be sufficient now to run the actual input. If we could run two in less than two tenths of a second, we should be able to do this. Uh, let's run the real input, 20, 22, uh, 19, and run this. I'll still run release mode. Lonmo says, wait, can't you do the same with any bot as long as you check them in descending priority? Ooh, this is nice and fast. I don't think you can do it with the clay, the ore and the clay bots because you still need ore, right? You still want to get to the maximum number of ore. And that, that might not be a clay. I don't think it'll solve, but now I have a number. So I want to try this before I, before I think too more about what you said. Oh, your answer is too low. Well, that sucks. Did I miss the quality levels or do I have the wrong? It, 
you multiply them, right? That's what they're, yeah, because we got 33 for the first one. Oh, uh, well, this is terrible. At least it runs quickly. Although I, I do see a bunch of zeros in there. Are those bugs or are those the way the blueprint works? This looks right. This looks right. This looks right. Let me check my bot making things. We spend the ore, we make an ore bot. We spend the ore, we make a clay bot. We spend ore and clay to make an obsidian bot. And we spent ore and obsidian to make a geode bot. And this all goes up by one. Okay. Codemark says you can stop making uh, ore bots as soon as you have enough to pay the cost of the most expensive robot in terms of ore. Yeah, yeah. I did that here where we max. Did I do this max wrong? No. No. That looks. Those all look correct. Well, my answer is too low. 14.05 is too low. And we're just adding up the quality levels of all the blueprints. Maybe I'm misparsing the input. Do I have all 30? I do have all 30. Oh, I see why this would be zero is because this needs 20 clay. In order to get 20 clay, you need enough clay over time. But by then, now you build an obsidian robot and now you need 19 obsidian. And there's not enough time in 24 minutes. So maybe this is part for part two. Maybe the, these ones are for part two. There's some twist. Whatever the twist is for part two, we'll take this into account. All right. But we, let's solve part one first. Oh, that's an old piece of code that I must have paused on. Um, hmm. I guess let's blueprint ID two makes three geodes. Let's. I wonder if we can just look at the state space. I mean, it's all I. Uh. Let's do this. This only takes two seconds to run. You can watch the quality go up and see if there's anything obvious there. I'm just adding it. And this is best starting at zero. It returns the best. Yeah. Two times three is six. Three times four is 12. 12 and six is 18. Yeah. Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm. And we're checking greater than or equal to, right? Because that's all, uh, how much we need. And this is the less than, right? So we stop making obsidian bots. Or, or we, we make obsidian bots exclusively once we can. I, mm, I mean, I think these are correct to do it this way. We make enough ore and clay until we can make obsidian, and then we just grind out obsidian bots uh, uh, until we can make geode bots, and then we grind out geode bots. Wow, I, I, I'm at a complete loss as to what's going on, or what's going wrong. All right. I'll figure it out. I have to. 
Um, let's take a look at some state. Again, like I did before, even though it's very long. And I'm just going to look at Blueprint 2 to start out with. Um, we'll just say uh, mine geodes self blueprint. We'll just look at that one. Um, and then see if we can figure out what's going wrong. If anything obvious pops out at us. Make this a little wider. Every tick, right, we add in how many geode bots there are to the number of geodes we have. Yeah. So that's correct. And we subtract one from our time remaining. We are starting time remaining at 24, right? Yep. And one ore bot. Good monk says, I'm scratching my head too. The solution good, looks good to me. I didn't find any corner cases in my input when I solved the problem either. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. Let's, no. Let's take a look at this and make sure it matches what I see here. We have a three, four, three, two, four, three, two, something, four, four, three, two, three. Everything looks okay. Four, two, 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 18, 11, 15, 8, 19, three, four, three, two. Thirteen, eight, nine, fourteen, three. I don't know. That's hmm. Push this one state. I'm pushing the empty state here. All right. Or subtracted by ore bots. New state tick. Or subtracted by clay bots. Or subtracted. Clay is subtracted. This adds one. Or subtracted obsidian is subtracted. Geode bots adds one. Hmm. Unless we're trimming off too much state. It worked for the for the test input, but let me put this back. way it was. It's 80 columns wide. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck. I'm genuinely stuck. Unless I got this wrong. No, this looks right. Sitting bot zero, geode bot zero. Or bot, clay bot. Yeah, and those are right. No. Lonmo says the max is defined. The fact that you only buy some bots when the max is reached isn't. So I guess my question would be, what would the benefit of having more than the maximum number of ore bots give you? 
right? If if you have a blueprint in which the maximum number of ore you ever need per turn is four, how does having five ore bats, for example, help? You need to buy bots as soon as possible, but only continue when the max is reached. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's an interesting. But if we're making enough. Oh, because there might already be enough per turn? Okay. Um, we can say if uh, let can continue is equal to this and this. change these to this right if can continue and continue right that's interesting um let's find out if that changes the the output I'm gonna get rid of this print get rid of the initial call save that Get rid of the less. I mean, it's possible. It's slower. Because we're still trying to make Um, more clay and obsidian, I mean clay and ore, and also these ticks, right? The do nothings. Randley, thank you for the follow. Yeah, we're, we're checking more state again, you're right, but is, is it making a difference? Let's see, we got three zero three four thirteen zero one. So it's the same so far. Then six fourteen seven two three. I think I think what's taking more time is this. Ooh, look at that, 615. This can make 15 geodes if we make enough bots. Right, it was 14, now it's 15. Okay, so there's something tricky about that one. Thank you, Londmo. That was a very useful idea. 723134. 723134. Oh, well, this is really slow. I wonder if there's anything else we can do in terms of trimming the state. Because I, I want this thing to be as fast as it possibly can, only because um, I imagine part two is like, you know, take this to a billion or something like that. Were we just off by that one? Is that the only one we were off by? One one zero one four three one three. One one zero one four three one three and fourteen one zero eight zero. My computer's slowing down because of all the state that, that we're saving. So hopefully the, the stream isn't getting disrupted.
14.1080. Okay, we got 14.13 instead of 14.05 because of that one extra. Okay. Okay, that's the right answer. Good. Um, I'm going to take this line out just to see. I want to see that go back down. Just to prove to myself that that's what's going on here. <laughs> Lodmo says, I think making it work first is a better idea. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, so it's just this one, this one blueprint is off. It's really fast though. It's just wrong. So what's special about Blueprint ID 8? Let's take a look at that one. Um, Blueprint 8 is right here. I mean, it doesn't look like anything any more unusual than anything else, right? I wonder if it's the only one where an ore robot costs more than a clay robot. Could that be it? Oh, you know what I can do instead then? Oops. Instead of, of doing that, let's try this. Um, can continue if... Not that we can build ore bots and clay bots, but there's enough to build them, right? So we can say if um, state dot ore bots is greater than or equal to BP geode bot zero and uh, state dot um, obsidian bots is greater than or equal to BP dot geode bot one and state dot or bots is greater than or equal to BP obsidian bots zero and state dot um, clay bots is greater than or equal to BP dot obsidian oh I got that wrong yeah bots one I think it's bot right yeah and then we can continue right as long as we have enough bots to make enough each turn will that help reduce the search space and come up with the correct answer And we're looking for 1430 something, right? 1413. It's a little bit faster. What if we do, what if we split it out? Right? We can just say if we don't need the friends anymore. We have enough ore bots and enough obsidian bots. And in this one, if like that. Will that be any faster? Because this is still pretty slow. And the last thing we could do is we could say if there's enough ore plus ore bots, right? Stop making ore bots temporarily while we're while we're doing the obsidian stuff. I 
Um, we can try that. If this zero or state or bots plus state or is greater than or equal to BP geode bot. We temporarily stopped making or bots to make geode bots. And this or state obsidian plus state yeah let's keep it the same order bots plus state obsidian is greater than or equal to bp geode bot dot one then do that well that's hard to read isn't it all right let's try that see if that works any faster and if that works a little bit faster then we can do that with the obsidian too oops Yeah, it looks like it's going a little bit faster. Okay, so let's do that here. Lonmo says, I feel like you could have a per blueprint time output. Well, we know it always takes 24 minutes. Oh, you oh, I see what you're saying. So we just measured the time between each blueprint. Yeah, just to give us an idea of whether or not we're speeding things up. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good, that would be a good thing to do. Uh, state. Or bots plus state or greater equal BP obsidian bot zero and this or uh, state um, clay bots plus state clay greater equal to BP obsidian bot one. Right? Still pretty slow, still pretty slow. I wonder if we should do like a time series, right? Where we can say uh, the number of obsidian bots plus the number of amount of obsidian we have minus, well, per time, like multiply the obsidian bots over the amount of time remaining Plus it's, no, because we want to be able to create a, a geode bot as soon as we can. I'm, I'm sure there's still some, yeah, this is still correct, um, as Ludbone points out. All right, very good. Well, I've got this. I'm going to check this in, uh, commit these changes as a, um, what did I just change there? Oh, just the format. Oh, did I not? I didn't, I didn't save it. Oops. Okay, let's build that. Uh, and then we'll commit these changes um, as soon as we run Clippy on it. Bacon. Whoa. Okay. All right. That was it. That was the key. That was the key to check to see if we can build a bot. Then build a bot. Um, is Clippy okay with this? It is. Git status. And it's that's a still wrong. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's do this. Uh, NVIM. But it seems right, right? I mean, why else wouldn't you do this? Name the obsidian bot and geode bot costs. I, I could do that, but that would take that would take effort. <laughs> Where is it? Where's my blueprint? Yeah, so I just made a tuple of clay and um sorry, or this is ore and clay. Um and then this is be uh ore and obsidian. Um do you think I got that wrong here, my uh check? If there's enough ore bots to make a geode bot, or there's enough ore plus ore bots to make a geode bot, 
and there's enough obsidian bots, or there's enough obsidian to make a geode bot, then do that. Yeah, maybe maybe it's like what I was saying before. Yeah, they're currently dot zero and dot one, which is confusing. Um, but that's the way tuples work, unless I create a struct, a separate struct, which would complicate the code a bit. Load most is or bots plus or will always be higher than just or bots. Yes, that's true. Um, Because you never go negative on the amount of ore. Yeah, so maybe that's so. Um, but you know, as we as we see, that's this is the wrong answer, right? Um, Blueprint ID eight is the the killer on it. And what we can do is just change this. Uh, to just run blueprint eight. Yeah, see that's wrong. Um, where's my output here? Yeah, let's just run blueprint eight, um, which is seven. Um, print lin blueprint eight. Um, mine geodes. BP uh, blue self blue prints of seven. Let's just do that so we can see it right away. And I was going to complain that quality doesn't need to be mutable. ID is never used. Whatever. All right, so there must be some other condition that we can do here um, to prevent. Yeah, so it's four. It's right now. It's fourteen. If we always make an obsidian bot, so I think I think then we have to look at how much ore can be made from the current state. Because maybe making a, an obsidian, uh, a geode bot is, you always want to make a geode bot as soon as possible. Because every time you make a geode bot, you have that many geodes. You have one times the amount of minutes left in the thing for the amount of geodes you, you're going to get from that bot. Right, so you always want to make it a geode bot if you possibly can. Is my is my take on this? Um, but maybe maybe you just want to do it if you can make geode bots from here to the end. Like there's enough ore plus enough ore bots to make one geode bot per time all the way to the end. And that's where you trim it. That way you can continue to make ore bots if it makes sense to make an ore bot and you can make more geode bots later. But then that belies this condition here. All right, um, I'm going to put back the, the code that works uh, for now so we can look at part two. Even though it's this is pretty slow, I was really hoping that we could make it faster, but I guess we can't. State or bots is greater than or equal to max or, and state um, clay bots greater than or equal to max clay. And state obsidian bots is greater than equal max obsidian. Then we can continue.
All right, let's do that. Let's rerun it to make sure I got the right answer for Blueprint 8. And then we'll put this code back, assuming we did. Lomo says you could parallelize over all blueprints. Yeah, that's true. Um, but then wouldn't be able to stream. Uh, Lomo also says you could also restructure to only run the states which it absolutely needs. All right, so this is 15. It took 14 seconds for that one blueprint. So we are we are back to slow town. All right. Um, let me run this and release, and then let's take a look at part two. While this is, oops. While this is running, we can take a look at part two. Continue to part two. While you were choosing the best blueprint, the elephants found some food on their own, so you're not in much of, as much of a hurry. You figure you probably have 32 minutes before the wind changes direction again, and you'll need to get out of range of the erupting volcano. Unfortunately, one of the elephants ate most of your blueprint list. Now only the first three blueprints in your list are intact. In 32 minutes, the largest number of geodes Blueprint one from the example above can open is 56. This is one way to achieve that. I'm not going to go through it because I understand the concept. So now, yeah, we have to do 32, but you no longer have to have enough blueprints to worry about quality levels. Instead, for each of the first three blueprints, determine the largest number of geodes you could open, then multiply these three values together. Oh, so we don't even care about blueprint eight. So we could use the fast method. Is that cheating? I think that's cheating. Um, so part two, <laughs> we only care about, oh, I want to pass in minutes now. OK, let's commit these. Uh, git status, git add source, git commit uh, dash m 2022 day 19 part one, slow. There's got to be a way to speed that up. Um, OK, so for part two, what we'll do is we'll change this so we pass in the amount of time we can do. Um, right, and then time, resize, and this is time. And now for part two, um, let, oh, what was it, multiply them together? Yeah, okay. Um, answer equals one for BP in self blueprints. Later, take three. Can I do that? Yep. Um, answer multiplied by uh, mine, geodes, BP, 32, and then enter. All right, let's see what happens. Lamo says, I feel like running only the needed one should be possible. You first check which bots you can't make and the requirements, and then run only the states you need to satisfy those requirements. Like if you're missing ore for the geode bot, you only run make ore bot and tick ones. Hmm. Yeah, so that, that might be something that we can explore, but not not today. I, I really wanted to get the the others. Oh, I, I need to get this done. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. Uh, let's say time is uh, less than 50, so it doesn't or this. That way it doesn't complain at me. Um, and this way it'll, it'll run the super fast version for part one. Um, and then we'll get to part two and see what happens. And we got to figure this out. Yeah, I, I think you're right, Lodmo, that there's there's 
there's definitely a tweak we can do here to figure out which which would be the best bot to build that took nine seconds and it's the right answer thank goodness okay i'm going to set this aside <laughs> and look at day 20 get status uh, but we can definitely uh in a future stream try to see if we can speed this up diff yeah so i implemented part two and all i did was refactor that and this is just a cheat I'll add, I'll add some code here. Uh, a cheat to use the fast but incorrect code. Code Monk says, yeah, congratulations. I don't think I really deserved it. Uh, commit dash AM 2022 day um, 19, part two, but a fatal flaw. There we go. Randley says, good game. Thank you. GG indeed. Okay, so now that I've burned my brain out, let's take a look at day 20. 